Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One. Monday, January the 28th, the year 2019. Let's talk trading. Are you serious? That question can be taken in so many different ways. But when it comes to trading, are you serious? I mean, if you look at some of the charts and ideas and chatter that goes on out there in the internet world and on YouTube, too, you just got to ask the question, are you serious? The marketing that goes on in trading, the, the, tr the uh, trading education and slash indicator slash robot industry, it's just unbelievable. I mean, there's just so many people out there hustling for your attention and trying to hustle you out of your money to get you to buy their thing. I mean, it is just really amazing. And I just have to look at these people, go, are you serious? Especially when they call me on the phone, I go, do you know who you're talking to? You don't have a clue, do you? Why are you talking to me? Because if you knew who I was, you wouldn't have called me in the first place. So they're just so hard to take seriously. I mean, these charts that have so much crap on them, you can't see price. And these they've got so many different rules and counter rules. And they just play and prey on, on people. And they know how to do it. These marketers they're just amazing i look at some of the other youtube channels i look at the number of subscribers and the number of views and i'm like well you know they're appealing to a whole different crowd than what i appeal to that's why my numbers aren't so high because i guess the people that follow me are serious they're not caught up in all that hype and i guess eventually some of those people will find their way here and if you're one of them, welcome aboard. But you just, you, I just can't believe some of the stuff I see out there. So take a, you know, take a look in the mirror, take a look at your trading screen and just say, are you serious? And if you're serious, then you're going to be using money and risk management on each and every trade. There's just no way around it. You can't be serious. You can't claim to be serious and not be good at money and risk management. Okay, for the week, uh, let's see. Last night I posted a video and we had a few gaps that hadn't filled. We've got one that still hasn't filled, the pound dollar. So there's a, still a chance out there, traders. And you can see here for the week, We've got the uh, Euro Yen sitting in, in the body of the previous week, it's right here. Price is right inside the body. And we're still below the yearly open. And once again, the first day of the month, First day of the week, we're just going to close it. We're going to see how that range, if price breaks out of that first day's, today's range later this week. And we're still below the last 12 month, first day of the month opens. And once again, we're within the first day of the month's range, high and low. And we exited the inside the daily inside bar right here that was uh five days ago and you can see we dipped down and we came out and we're 13 pips above the high now 14. so anybody who was watching the video from last night and picked up you could be profitable using that inside bar trade there uh, the range, not much of a range right now, only 44 pips. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
range is over 100. And if you didn't watch my video yesterday and you're wondering where have I been, I was ill last week. I caught something from somebody and I just said, I just did bed rest for three days in a row and uh, kicked it. Uh, I, had, I was running a fever, uh, fever broke, but I just stayed down for the next couple of days. And uh, so I'm back on the road to recovery. Hopefully by the end of the week, I might be fully recovered. So that's why there was only a couple videos last week. And let's see, uh, daily highest open right here, weekly lowest open there. Weekly H1 lowest open that is. And looking at the buy zone, You can see we took out that daily pivot. I believe when I posted the chart, I don't know if we hit, if we had taken out the pivot last night. I don't think we had when I made the video, but you can see we took out the pivot and reversed off it up through the weekly open. Right now, Larry Live Trade buy zone trigger right here, 124.95 or 97. And somebody asked, what's a Larry Live Trade? It's a trade that I am showing you live right here on my screen as I'm making this video, as opposed to saying something that happened here hours ago. No, this is right here, right now. As you can see, there's not much separation of oh, 43 pip range between the green and red rat zones, but you can still play, still make the play. And once again, the pivot got taken out. And we see the pivots out. So now we've got two miss from this year, two miss from last year. And we're just going to wait and see if these pivots get taken out. I'm thinking these pivots may not get taken out. But they still could. And on this chart, you see we had a one ball at the bottom, then green at the line, little profit to be made. And we haven't quite gotten back in the upper wick zone. We were in it once and then out. And there was a trigger here overnight but I wasn't trading at that time, so I wouldn't have gotten my fingers burned right there. Just a couple ticks, not much horizontal or vertical motion. And you can see here, when I first turned on the computer, we had some triggers. And you can see here, just using these same lines, Every time price is crossing it, there was pips to be made, sometimes a little, sometimes a lot. And so when I say, are you serious? You can see here, something is, this is when I started trading. This is the line. This is the price right here when I started trading for this session. This is two and a half pips above it, two and a half pips below it. So basically, if price moves like spread, spread and a half, it's time to trigger in, and you could see the profits. Sometimes a little, sometimes a lot. You see, you trigger in, maybe you just scratch that trade. And you see it's coming back, you could just scratch that trade. But sooner or later, you catch one, and it pops. And that's all you're looking for. You're not looking to make a home run each and every time. Just looking to make some solid trades. And you just exploit the price action that's in front of you. It's not that difficult. It really isn't. And that's why I say somebody could look at this chart and say, yep. Yeah, I think that trader's pretty serious. He doesn't have a whole bunch of gobbledygook all over the screen 
and a bunch of squiggly lines that, you know, prices the input. So that means it's going to be a uh, d derivation of price. Well, hey, wh we're trading price, so why not just use price? You know, sometimes if you, you know, just stop for a minute and ask a couple of questions. Well, why are you doing all of that? Why not just look at the price? And then they'll give you some answer that's convoluted. And they'll, they'll talk about some equation and they probably couldn't even show you how the formula works. You know, somebody will talk about RSI, you go, okay, fine. Here's the, you know, here's the price over the past five days or whatever. Now, show me what the RSI is. If you can't do it by hand, then you don't know what you're doing. Because the computer just does what, does it faster. But if you don't know what it, what that RSI really means, why are you relying on it? Or stochastics, or MACD, or any of that other stuff that's out there. I mean, really, are you serious? I mean, think about it. There's somebody that doesn't know anything about trading, and they sit down next to you, and you've got RSI or something down here with squiggly, right? And they go, well, what's this thing down here? Go, oh, well, that's RSI, relative strength index. Oh, yeah, well, how's it work? Well, you see, if it's over 70 or below 30, no, no. H how do you get that number? Well, it's this formula. Yeah, well, what's the formula? Well, the indicator does it. Yeah, but what's the formula? Well, I don't know. Oh, so you're using something that you don't know and you're trusting it? Does that make sense to you? I mean, it's like that commercial on TV. Something the guy goes in, he's he's in, in the operating or the uh, pre-op room and the nurse is there and they, uh, they say, is the doctor any good? He goes, well, he's OK. <laughs> just OK. It's like, no, you don't want a doctor that's just OK. You want a doctor that's really good, knows what he's doing. So, I mean, it's the same thing with trading. You know, do you want something that's just okay? Or do you want somebody that's know what they're talking about? I mean, some of this stuff, when you really look at it, it's just hilarious. It really is. But anyway, um, you know, back to it. You know, simple horizontal lines. You can draw any which way you want, you know, from where you start, um, you know, picking daily, weekly, monthly lines, you know, wick zone lines, open high, low and close or, or candle high, low, top and bottom, you know, every 10 pips, every five pips, just straight horizontal lines, whether or not you even use the uh, three level ZZ, you don't have to even use that indicator. You can just say, well, hey, uh, there's a new low, Okay, it put in a low. Now it's leaving. Okay, it's leaving this area. It's got, if it's gonna once price gets here, it's gotta leave here. I mean, price just doesn't stay between these lines. It gets between lines. It has to leave. I mean, look, almost in every case, just pick any any one of these bars. You see where price is. It tries to leave these areas. Price just doesn't like staying in one of these areas you can see it here price wouldn't no it, it leaves and so whichever way is leaving well that's the way to trade you know if price is going up why would you short it if price is going down why would you buy it you know once again common sense and if you're doing the opposite of common sense you got to ask the question are you serious but anyway Anybody watch 60 Minutes last night about that story about that guy and his wife? They started that little uh, company. They figured out how to beat a couple of different lotteries. I was like, geez, I guess sometimes if you live in the right spot, <laughs> you, uh, you, can, you can see these things. It's like, wow, I would have liked to have done that. Guy made, what was it, over $10, $13 million beating the lottery legally? That was pretty cool. Anyway... Let's just get back to trading here. What the heck just happened? Um, <laughs> that was strange. So, once again, are you serious? Because it's not what you trade, it's how you trade it. So go out there and drain the bank.